don't know if you know where we at, but we somewhere. And Gio's already to work. What you doing over here, bro? Yeah, leap. Oh, God damn. Got a little mod right here. That looks like an intake already, bro. It did Let's see if this one fits. Jesus. So, we're here at Nuero Performance. Uh, about an hour before 11. An hour before 11 to get the intake installed. Because you do need a retune for this bad boy here. And yeah, we're knocking it out here in the parking lot, huh? Yeah. Now we will, we will be offering a uh, mobile intake intake installs too. <laughs> Damn! So let me give him a hand real quick. And we'll go from there. Now, as soon as I put my phone down, he's already pretty much done. <laughs> Literally like in five, five, ten minutes. Nah, hell, nowhere near ten minutes, huh? I'm probably got like two minutes. We did already have this pre-assembled at home, but it's not even hard to pre-assemble it. All this is couplers, clamps, and that's it. And just like that, it's in. Gotta take the fitting off the Magnuson one right here. I think we gotta crimp that little clamp right there. We got some pliers in the bag. Let me go grab them. Oh god damn. Scoot all the way forward. you think will do the trick the cutter Joey just cut it snip it off uh, I guess we can put a worm clamp if we ever comes back to I need to be working on my forearm, cuz. I can't cut it. Like that, and that fitting's gonna go clamped onto your original line, and then you'll just snake it through the holes that they provide. And that's it. God damn. Rotofab big gulp intake install in less than uh, five minutes. Sure. For sure, starting a trend there, bro. <laughs> It'll be a new challenge now. Yeah. So, just like that. There's this fitting right here that goes onto it that's provided by Rotofab. This is provided by Rotofab. 
the clamp is provided by Roto Fab. Just the fitting, you have to use it for whatever heartbeat or whipple intake elbow you have. You have to take it off from there. Now we showed you guys, put it over here, and that's it. Transfer over your mass sensor, and just tighten down your clamp, and that's it, huh? Is there Put it on right, right? Yeah, it looks right. <laughs> we'll find out. And not Alex will let us know for sure. <laughs> Damn, it's cleaned up the engine bay a lot, to be honest. It looks good now. Now, I did get a oil filter. It's because I couldn't get a dry one. Or I couldn't find one. So, we'll change it out later. We're just gonna tighten everything down. Not really much to explain there. Righty tighty, lefty loosey, and we're gonna put it on the dyno here shortly. Our appointment is at 11, so we have 45 minutes to kill or more. Not too bad. Alright guys, so we have an update for you guys. As you guys can see, oh my god, Rocco, cut it out. We're trying to film here. Cut it out. Gee. Oh my god. So this guy's not gonna let me record or something. Be quiet. Thank you. So the bad news guys, sorry about that. The bad news is the Rotofab Big Go unfortunately did not work with this setup. So how this beast is sitting right now, it is completely maxed out the whole LT1 fuel system. So with that being said, guys, now we're debating either getting the stock LT4 injectors or the 32% overflow on the stock LT4 injectors. So with that being said, the bigger, bigger one. So the aftermarket big boy injectors. We don't know which ones to run yet. I mean, the price tag on them are quite a big difference, but... If we run the stock LT4 injectors, we're going to be limited to about, I want to say 650, maybe I'm wrong. Just because this one doesn't have a cam. And even then, with that amount of horsepower, I'm going to need an auxiliary pump. So, with that being said, it's about, I want to say 2800 bucks, maybe $3,000 just for the LT4 injectors, high pressure fuel pump, and the auxiliary pump. Sorry, the high pressure fuel pump is a whole mouthful to say. It's like $3,000 for that. The big boy ones, I want to say like 56, 5700, but that's going to support anything that I throw to this engine, to this car, or whatever you guys want to call it heads, cam, um, forged pistons, forged crank, all that, more boost, and everything. Right now, it's completely maxed out how it's sitting. All it has is a Magnuson, the big boy, big training wheel pulley, K Tech, and some goodies over there. The air box is completely stocked. The elbow was provided by Magnuson. We did, we were gonna install methanol injection at one point, but we decided to not go through with it just because I didn't really like how it looked here, all cluttered, wires everywhere and whatnot. Unless we were installing it wrong, but I highly doubt it. So we wanna go ahead and plug up the holes that we did. And the box here is cut up from the top and the bottom with the drop-in green air filter along with Velocitex Ram Air that shoves air straight into the intake through this port right here to shove a little bit more air on it. However, that's as basic of a setup you need to max out the fuel system. It's completely maxed out. No room to put anything on afterwards. So I can pump up some more horsepower with a heads cam, but it's gonna be about the same price as it would be for the big boy fuel system. A cam is probably like 5,500 because of course I'm gonna do heads, I'm already there. Might as well put studs and do all the nine yards, maybe even a forged bottom end if I'm gonna get to that point, but it just gets expensive, expensive, expensive. So the proper way, at least I think so, if I'm gonna open it up, I'm gonna do all that complete. And right now I do not plan on spending that much money on this car. 
So we're leaning more towards a fuel mod, but we'll have to we'll have to look closely on which fuel mod we're gonna go with, whether the big boy or just the stock LT4. Now this does have a stock cam, like I said, it's never been open. So I'm gonna be limited to the fuel lobe that this one has. So the LT1 fuel lobe is gonna be a lot smaller than the LT4 cams fuel lobe. So we'll see how we'll see what happens. We'll see what we do. But as of right now, guys, this is max effort for the stock LT1 fuel system. Now, if I were to put a cam, of course I'll be able to pump out more horsepower. But like I said, the price on it still pretty big up there and i think i'll still need fuel system after the heads and cam so we're just gonna wait and really think about what we want but overall car's doing good z01 brakes still doing good uh we have a video for the rear z01 brakes coming along too not much different going on um if we do have a set of rims for it we just need to get the tires inside not much going on we have a separate video for that one coming out soon and yeah so that's it guys stay posted for the outcup and of course our decision which one what are we going to do with this beast right here and thanks for watching guys like comment share subscribe hit the bell notification if you haven't and we'll be uploading hopefully a lot sooner than the previous video so stay tuned guys